Welcome, my name is Tuoms and I am Mindset, Mindfulness and Yoga Coach. And in this video, I will show you that it is possible to practice yoga anywhere, anytime, any place. Even if you are on holiday, even if you are just walking, waiting in a line, in a shop, anywhere. Could be literally anywhere. So, and you don't really need anything to start practicing. You don't even need a yoga mat. Well, it does help to have a towel, mat or something to lay down on a busy street to have a bit more comfort of being more cleaner after the practice. But really, you don't need, even need that. So I have a small towel here just to keep me clean during the practice. And this next exercise we can do anywhere, even waiting in line for the shop. So nothing's required, no equipment necessary, just twist from side to side. Idea here is to move your body slightly, do a gentle movements for your lower back, your back, your spine. And if you're used to standing or sitting in a static pose, this will release that stress that's stored in your body and give you a bit more movement, something unusual. As I said, this one you can do anywhere, anytime and anyone. You can do it even seated position as well. And with, when this gets boring, you can test your coordination and body awareness by bending your elbows, trying to keep your arms relaxed. All the arms underneath the shoulder are completely relaxed, tapping your belly in front and massaging your kidney in the back. This movement is actually borrowed from Tai Chi practice, but everything is yoga. Everything is union. Everything helps you to get in touch with your mind, body, soul, heart. And when this gets boring, you can start going for your chest. Well done. And the next one, I want to shake our body out. Any time, any place, you can do shaking your arms like if you have wet arms, you want to shake them out. Legs, shake any stress in your legs and maybe even start jumping from side to side. Make any movements whatsoever, maybe do a dance. The dancing is amazing for stress release. Any kind of shaking movements, the more body shakes, the better for stress release. That's why massages work. That's why those massage chairs and jacuzzi works. Same principle. And you don't even need neither massage, neither jacuzzi. You don't need anything. You just need your body. Shake it out. And that's it. Stress room relief for free. And the next one, we're gonna go slowly down to the squat. Also, amazing posture for opening up the hips. Maybe you're leaving a bit more tension in your lower back. And this one, depending on where you are with your flexibility, you might not be able to get as low as I am now. So here in this practice, it doesn't really matter if you're going all the way down, if your heels are onto the ground, maybe your heels are off the ground, maybe you're somewhere up here, maybe your arms on your knees, doesn't matter. What matters is you're there at your own limit and staying there for a couple of moments, enjoying and opening up your hips, paying attention to your body and paying attention to your breath. And whenever ready, whenever you're walking down the street, whatever you're doing, you can always observe and concentrate on your breathing. Try to count how long is your inhale 
and then count your exhales. If you want a balanced mood, make sure both of them are same. If you want to activate yourself, focus more on inhalations. Make your inhalations shorter, faster, and exhalations just let them be. Or do it opposite way. Shorten your exhalations like in Breath of Fire. <laughs> that will activate you. However, if you want to relax yourself, make sure your exhalations are longer, your inhalations are deeper, and longer, deeper breath will relax your body. You can do it before going to sleep, if you want to relax, if you have stress in the mind. It's nice after the meal to have your digestive tract engage and fully process. We all know that during the stress, our digestive system slows down and maybe even stops. And you're not getting all that nutrients you consume during the meal. So, this is another nice exercise you could do. A simple, efficient squat. I recommend staying there for at least a couple of minutes, a couple of moments, whatever feels comfortable for you. And from here, I welcome you to straighten your legs and do a forward bend. And again, doesn't really matter if your legs are straight, maybe they're bent, maybe your chest is relaxing on your knees. Maybe your legs are straight. If you want to go easy on yourself, let the gravity do the work for you. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders. Doesn't matter if your hands are reaching the ground or they're somewhere in between. And just stay there. It's up to you to decide what's your intention for the each practice you make. What's your objective? What will make your practice successful? If you want to just stay on a mat and be there no matter what, and doesn't matter how you perform the actions, you want to relax, take it easy, and letting the gravity do the work for you, or maybe you want to be more active, be more concentrated and male, masculine energy, then you pull yourself gently towards your legs, doing a bit more activation for your hamstrings, for your lower back, choose your options, choose your variations. And if you're just starting out, feel free to make any movements here, bending one knee, other knee, bending your legs and seeing how does it feel. You can always go for a twist, bending your left leg, straighten your right, lifting your right arm up to the sky. If you're flexible, you can try to keep your arms in a straight line. Otherwise, keep them where they are. You can stay there wherever you, however long you want. And with exhalation, return back to the middle. And with next inhalation, switch sides. We always want to practice both sides. Usually they say equally. I would say not equally. Why? Because usually one side is a bit more open than the other one and therefore you want to bring them back into the balance. And from here, we can walk into the downward facing dog, stretching your arms, stretching your legs. Walk your first down dog, if it's the first practice of the day. Well, down dog is kind of a bit more sophisticated posture. You're probably not gonna be able to practice it anywhere, any place, but still, it's quite possible to do so, up until now, we are quite able to do it anywhere, any place, because we didn't really need to put our arms on the ground, especially if it's a dirty street or something like that. And from here, you can gently walk towards your hands, towards your forward of the mat. You can go back to the forward bend, or you can step one of the legs back and going for a wide leg forward bend. Again, this one, you don't need anything. You can do it anywhere, any place, no need of mat, no equipment, not even special clothing. You don't need yoga pants. See, I'm doing shorts. You can stay here, grabbing your elbows, putting arms on the ground, putting your arms behind the back, putting arms, grabbing your elbows behind the arm, 
or you can interlace your fingers choose any of the options variations and because there are so many options so many variations it makes it exciting so you might be doing four bend every day but because you change your arms slightly it doesn't feel the same so you get a bit of variety in your daily routine and again from here you can go halfway up bring your spine parallel to the ground many options you can bring your arms to your waist open up the chest you can bring parallel to the ground or you can bring them forward if you want to challenge yourself wide leg stands strengthening your lower back lots of benefits and again no need for any equipment any preparation you can do these kind of poses anytime anywhere and almost anyone with inhalation try to stand up bring your arms up to the sky and with exhalation bring them down parallel ground let's go for a goddess pose again one of those which you don't need to prepare for bend your knees bend your elbows elbows back with inhalation lift yourself up let's do a bit of vinyasa flow and with exhalation down bend your elbows bend your knees inhale up exhale down Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, bend your elbows, try to keep your elbows parallel to the ground, you can stay also down, test your quadriceps, test your arms, test your body awareness and posture, relax your shoulders, relax your neck, stay here in the pose as long as you like, enjoy it. And with inhalation, straighten your legs, straighten your arms, lift up. And with exhalation, step your legs forward. And let's go for a bit of a balancing pose. The easiest one, tree pose. You can keep your arms to your hips, keep your leg on the ground. You can start lifting up your leg to your inner thigh. If you find yourself hard to balance, you can spread your arms to the sides. You can always use a wall or any kind of object for keeping a balance my favorite option and variation here is to have the half lotus here choose your option variation if you like challenge yourself like i do you can always start lifting up your gaze up to the sky if sun is not bothering you and if this is too easy you can always start closing your eyes and then lifting up the gaze. If you lose balance, don't worry. Return back to the position, return back to the balance, and maybe practice a falling tree. Retrace your steps and keep on practicing. And whenever you're ready, you can switch to the other side, shake your legs, don't take stress with you during the practice. Practice the same thing for the other side, keep it balanced. And again, this practice strengthens your legs your balance sense of certainty and confidence in yourself also you can test your body awareness is your how is your pelvis your abdominal muscles chest shoulders chin neck just test yourself how are you positioned spatially with your body check in check out and whenever ready Return back to the standing position, shake your body out, and let's do standing cat and cow with a bit of twist here. So with inhalation, let's open up the arms, open up the chest like the wings, tilt the pelvis back, chest forward, pelvis back, and with exhalation, pelvis forward, chin to the chest, arch yourself. Standing cat and cow. Well, for the show, I'm doing it also with my hands, but you don't need to do it with the hands if you don't want to attract that much attention. You can do just the pelvis, back and forward, maybe even the chest. You can do this kind of exercise even while seated, just pelvis back and forward. I know I was doing it when I was taking it that, that long eight hour flight from New York to Madrid. And I was sitting quite a lot for eight hours or even more, I don't remember. And I was doing those cat and cows quite often just to relieve the tension from my lower back because I didn't want to bother people while standing up. So as I was sitting, I was practicing yoga. Same movements, but a bit less show. 
If you want, you can continue with each exhalation, squeezing your pelvis forward. You can hold the posture for longer. And you can open up and hold it there as well. Choose your option, choose your variation. And return back to the middle into the mountain pose. Or the mountain pose. It's a nice checking position where you manage and try to notice how is your pelvis. Is it back? Is it too much forward? Or is it gently down in the middle? Try to find your middle. Use your hands for support. Contract your abdominal muscles. Open up the chest. Roll your shoulders up and back and down. Stand still and look in a still spot in front of you. Train your gaze. Don't let your eyes wander around. Train your focus and concentration. And from here, let's do a couple more standing postures, which are a bit more obvious, like a bit more traditional to yoga practice. Let's go for warrior one. I will step my left leg back and bring my arms up to the sky. Bend my right knee and lower myself, separating my legs more and more. More you separate your legs, deeper the pose. Traditional Ashtanga type of practices suggest to have your back leg firmly into the ground, 45 degree angle, hips facing forward. Your right knee, 90 degree angle or less. It can be less, but don't try to go over. However, if you're practicing for your own sake, you can always lift your left heel up to the sky, lifting up, allowing your hip to turn a bit more forward, making a deeper bend here. You can stay here as long as you like, or go for the warrior two, opening up your arms parallel to the ground. Maybe take a quick look to your back arm and then twist your head, looking towards your front arm. Maybe separate your legs a bit more, getting deeper into the posture. Make sure your arms in a one line. Check into your arms, you don't need to look, but for the beginners, I recommend also to look, see where your arms and how does it feel like. From here, you can always go for the other side. Try to observe your breathing, try to smile during the practice. Look towards your right arm or left arm, one that's in front of you. And when you're ready, let's transition back to the warrior one. To the other side, so left side, left leg. You can keep your back heel off the ground or on the ground. Choose your option, choose your variation and enjoy the practice. Keep your arms up. It's a nice willpower practice. And from here, let's get back to the middle, back to the warrior goddess pose. You can stay here for a while. You can open up, lift up. Now let's finish up our practice here. And let's finish the practice with chanting Mantra Om, which consists of three sounds, A, O, and N. Well, if you don't want to chant Mantra Om, I suggest you just hum the letter M, so you can feel those vibrations vibrating and releasing stress from your physical body. So that's the trick of the, and that's the purpose of the Mantra Om, at least part of it. You don't have to go full-blown A, O, and N. So with inhalation, take a deep inhale in, straighten your spine, check your mountain pose, and with exhalation, chant. Check in with your body, maybe cover your hands onto your heart, maybe close your eyes and feel your body after the short and brief practice, which you can practice anywhere, anytime, by anyone and everyone. Check in with your breathing, check in with your heart, 
notice how you feel. Switch your awareness towards your mind. Notice your thoughts coming in and out of your mind. The hardest part is to just to observe without judging or engaging. Simple, but not necessarily easy. Easier said than done. And finally, check in with your emotions. Observe how you feel and notice if there's any correlation between how you feel physically, what kind of stories you hear inside of your head and what kind of emotions you feel right now at the present moment. And whenever ready, feel free to open up your eyes, release your hands, maybe do another shake out, shake your body out and continue your day. Remember, smile and be present. As I said, no need for any kind of equipment, no need for any kind of special skills or practice. Just a couple of simple techniques, postures you can practice daily, anytime, anywhere. See you on the next one.